Hey everybody and welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt and today is my first day shooting in the new office, the new house and everything, which you can't really tell because we're not fully set up. So everything's still a work in progress. So let me actually change where I'm shooting from so we can get a different perspective. Okay, so in a new space now, uh, as you can see behind me, I have a lot of work to do and I guess it's convenient then that I'm talking about an app that is supposed to help me focus on the important things and make sure I get those things done every day. So, uh, today we're talking about an app called Bento. Bento is a new app from Keep Productive. I think it's the first app that they've put together as a team. Uh, Keep Productive is mostly a YouTube channel, uh, and I, they were a big inspiration for this channel when I started and everything. They still are, they still do really great work. Um, but yeah, I wanted to talk about it because it's an interesting looking app. It's a really beautiful app. And yeah, it's built around the Bento method, which we'll talk about in a second, but it's not meant to be a replacement for things or Todoist or anything like that. Uh, it's kind of doing a different thing, and the sun is really coming out right now, so I'm going to switch to the screen share so I don't burn your retinas. Okay, so before we even jump into the app, I wanted to give a little feedback on the icon. I think the icon has incredible art. It looks beautiful, and it's just a shame that it's shrunk down and put in the middle of the icon like Safari and all these other apps where it's just on a white square. I don't like that at all in those apps, and I really think it's a shame here because, again, the artwork is so beautiful. It could look so great. I just wish they'd make it a little bigger, have it take up the full icon. Here's a very rough mock-up of what it would look like, but I think it would look a lot better if they just made it the full app icon as the bento box. That's it for now. That's just a critique, but let's jump in to the app. So it's going to walk you through this setup process, kind of explaining what the bento method is. Uh, so thank you from the team who built it, uh, and then you can kind of walk through some explainers on what this method is. You can pause and kind of just see what each of these say as you go, but let's get started. And this is the screen you're going to see when you're using Bento uh, most of the time. So you can see I'm doing back to work. That's my theme for the day. Uh, and you can see I've got three things. So the Bento method has three things that you're going to do, a small thing, a medium thing, and a large thing. And those are things you absolutely will get done today, you've decided. Uh, and so the three things for me were after a week off of work, catch up on Slack, catch up on email, and test my release tickets. So I've already caught up on Slack and I have catch up on email next. So if I wanted to do this, I could just check it off and say, hey, it's done. And confetti rains down and it's wonderful and everything. But I can also use this timer. So I actually did it for one second already. <laughs> but if I hit the arrow over here on the right, you're going to take to this focus page where basically everything else from the app goes away. And all you need to do is start the timer and you're going to see this beautiful animation that's playing. You can obviously like close the app and everything. But as far as Bento is concerned, this is the only thing going on. You're just working on this. And once it's done, you can mark it as complete. Now, slightly annoyingly, when the timer gets to zero, it will mark it complete for you, even if you're not technically done with it yet. Uh, this happened to me with the Slack thing. It took me a few minutes longer than I expected. I would have liked to be able to check it off myself, but just a little thing as well. Let's go ahead and pause that. And so I can pick that up later if I want. I'm just gonna go back and you can see I still have 29 minutes and a second there. Uh, and then test release tickets is exactly the same thing. So yeah, you can kind of use this as a timer as you work on things, as kind of a way to focus, some nice music plays, animations play, and it's all pretty just delightful. So if we go into the settings, there's a few things you can do here. There are some themes first. Uh, so you can see there's a dark mode. I can switch it to light mode. This is actually what I prefer. Uh, just looks a little nicer. Uh, but if you don't want this, you can switch to kind of this garden, Zen garden thing, or this water one if we switch here. There you go, uh, that looks pretty nice. And then you can go to nighttime as well. And again, these look incredibly beautiful. It's really, really great art, uh, basically through and through. I personally like light mode and this one, uh, but your taste will vary. So there's also options for haptics. You can turn them on or off. The app just does some haptic stuff, which I think is really, really nice, but you can turn it off. And audio, so there's some music that plays and some just sound effects, and you can turn those off if you'd like. I think they're pretty delightful, so I keep them on. Um, but yeah, that's really it for settings. And how do you actually make this work? Well, first off, you should read some of the liter literature if you're not already like just immediately on board with the system. So there's this book icon in the top left, hit that. And there's links basically to three medium posts where they explain uh, different parts of the method. So you can check those out if you'd like. And if you want to create a new Bento, so you can actually go back and see a history of ones you've done previously. That's as far as I go. Um, and if you want to create a new one, you just swipe over and you can create a new Bento or use a template. So if I create a new Bento, you can choose a workflow. And the workflow is what order you want to do things. And so you can basically choose when the method 
is going to expect you to do a small thing, a medium thing, and a large thing. You can choose what order. So eat the frog is starting with the large thing, doing the medium, then the small thing. So that's for if you're like a morning person and you feel really productive in the morning, but not so much in the afternoon. Do the big thing in the morning, do the medium thing, and then do the small thing after lunch, right? That sort of thing. Climb the summit is medium, then large, then small. And then slow burn is actually what I typically prefer, which is do the small thing, get the quick win, and then do the medium and build up to the large thing. So let's go ahead and do slow burn. So it's going to create uh, a bento for you, and it's going to have an icon based on the workflow that you created, but you can tap on that and select any emoji that you'd like. You can just select, yeah, literally any of them. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just do a globe, right? That works. And then you can name it. Uh, so you can name it anything up to this many characters. It does stop you. Uh, but if you can think of something, um, I was actually doing back to work. Day, I can't actually do anything more than that. So <laughs> there's not enough characters uh, for this. But anyway, you can just leave it as, uh, we'll do this as test, done. And then add a small task, add a medium task, add a large task. So I'll go into add a small task and I'll just call this, um, we'll call this uh, email, right? And so I wanna do my email. There's actually some in issues with contrast. The text is really low contrast here. I'd like that to be improved. Um, and then in how long is this going to take? I'd actually think it'll take less than that. Let's say five minutes for uh, email. And that's my small thing. Now let's move on to the medium one. So what's the medium one going to be? The medium one will be uh, follow up with team. How about? Okay. And that'll take 45 minutes. That's fine. And what's the large thing in my bento? Uh, we'll do uh, just, uh, I don't know, make video <laughs> will be the big thing. And that'll take, uh, that's going to actually take, actually take a little longer. You can go up to two hours for an item. And so we'll just do two hours for that. So there we go. Those are created and there we are. So I have email follow up with the team and make video. And so I can, again, just mark it as complete if I'd like, or I can go into it and start a timer and just have focus time, watch the animation, listen to the music and kind of do, uh, what I'd like. So in general, I think this is pretty nice. I think that it's definitely not the app for everyone. Uh, it's a little expensive, it's all paid up front, um, but it does have delightful artwork. It may be very helpful to some people who feel like they look at a task manager and there's 30 things to do and this is it's just too much, they can't focus on it. This might help you focus on a few things. Um, there's a few just little, it doesn't behave like a normal iOS app, so it feels a little non-native, um, which again, bothers some people more than others, but. It's a really good looking app and it's a really interesting idea that I don't see any other big task managers tackling directly, especially in this way. And so I'm excited to see where it goes from here. Hopefully my feedback was useful. Hopefully the developers will uh, see it. And if they think any of it is useful, they will take advantage, they will take advantage of the free feedback um, and try to make the app better in the future. I know they're gonna be iterating on it, but yeah, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.